Hello, hello, my friends, and welcome to another episode of Inside Out Electronics. But this one gonna be a little bit different because we have this baby product to review. I don't know if I got you or not, but it is not baby product to review. This is completely different stuff. I'll try to show you and hear what it is. It's a mother load of audio cassettes. So today we're gonna take a look at what are those and they are worth, if they are worth anything. So, so I hope I'm gonna do it properly. I'll put it back like that. So this full box of audio cassettes. So someone wanted to throw them away and I just picked them up for free. Essentially, I saved a whole bunch of audio cassettes from dumpster. I don't know, I think these days uh, throwing away stuff is, uh, is seen, so I decided to save those cassettes from being, whatever, recycled, burned, or something like that. Especially when cassettes these days are more, getting more popular. So, uh, I don't even know how many cassettes there. The whole box, top to bottom, is full of cassettes. Probably, I don't know, 100? So, today we're gonna take a look what we got here, and if it's worth or anything or something. And just to give you a reference, like, take a look at this. This is Bass Chrome Maxima 2. Just this cassette alone, it was just on top of this box. This cassette alone is as a good, as a good cassette. It's really good cassette. It's worth even driving there in picking up all this box. This is good. I'm not sure if it's mangled, maybe it's all old, maybe it's all crumbled, I don't know. Looks okay, but in general, uh, there are some other cassettes I see here. Uh, if they are stored more or less properly, they're gonna last. Some of them are gonna last better than others. We're gonna take a look at this as well. But today, our goal is take a look at the, what I got here and determine was it worth it. And I already by seeing just this cassette, I think it was worth it. So let's take a, let's continue on the bench because in this sort of format, it will be harder to. Um, to go over cassettes and uh, I will be not able to do a close-up on a bench, I would be able to do a close-up. So uh, I just wanted to show you the, the amount or quantity of the cassettes and we can continue uh, a little bit in close-up and also uh, this will give us a chance to take a look at the tape condition and the case condition and the case condition and the shell, I mean, condition as well. So let's go on the bench. All right, we are back on the bench. So here we are. This is the very first uh, Chrome Maxima 2 that I actually sh illustrated, showed already in the in my introductory video. And as you see, I think tape condition is really fine. Again, like this is some people's musics, and uh, yeah, I'm not sure if they bother actually to erase it or not. I don't really care, but you know, in case in good is in good condition. Oh, we have even stickers, genuine bus stickers and one side is empty this is definitely a keeper this is amazing that's yeah this is this is real good cassette i can't really tell um uh, on my own from my own experience uh, that this cassette is amazing or something i never actually recorded anything on on bus uh, chrome maxima 2 so let's give me a chance to do this because i don't have an um, ability to buy a new one it's just I mean, it's either ridiculously expensive or like very hard to come by. Okay, let's put it over here in a pile of Type 2 cassettes. Right, so here is another one, um, just without even case, just sitting like this. Um, this particular one we can, can we? Just to see the, oh my god, that would, that's gonna be a really long video if we're gonna be just digging like this with every cassette. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take forever. Sorry, guys. I'm probably not gonna do this. Yeah, it's a bit. No, it's actually not too bad. 
slightly mangled. So uh, there is a problem with some of those old cassettes. Even if they look good, the case is not cracked and busted and, mel and not melted and things like that. The cassettes on side A or side B in the beginning especially can be mangled. Could be mangled in the middle or anywhere, but highest probability it can be mangled over here or crinkled. So this one seems to be okay, at least on this side. On this side and this side is if you put it like there, this is side 2 not B, A. This is side 2, this is bus stuff. So there is a high probability that this Chrome bus cassette, Chrome Extra 2 is in relatively good condition. Let's pick another one. This is Keeper for sure. So what do we have here? Uh, oh, this is amazing. This is Santa's Noisy Night. Okay, this is only 5 minutes cassette. Uh, I don't even know what the heck is that supposed to mean. I'm gonna listen to it and probably this is not Keeper. I'm gonna put it on this side over here, right there. Another one, and this time we have Maxell XL2. Uh, case obviously is kind of banged up, uh, so again Tape, that's a chrome tape, it's not bad tape, um, and I, I, I like this case particularly, um, and it looks in, I mean, look, looks like it was used up because it's over here, it has this scratch when you like press, uh, shove it in, in a tape recorder every time, so, um, yeah, this, this side is ripped off, okay, that's probably a keeper, and not sure if, um, it's not, uh, uh, honestly, I would grade this cassette higher than this one, but again, I'm not sure what year is this particular Maxell revision is, so we'll take a look, put it in the middle. Next one, oh yeah, this is, what the heck is this, pure gamma? I've seen this before. All around audio reproduction, Joel Mader, whatever it is. So this is... I've never seen pure gamma written here on a on a Sony HF 60. Sony HF is 60 has some dust, luckily not inside. It's in relatively good condition, still has some stickers. Uh, case is busted, so yeah, um, I'll put it over here to this pile, like there. It will be type one here, type two, and this is some some type two. So let's go next one. And next one, just whatever popped out of pile, is Fuji DR2. This is Chrome, uh, sorry, it's, it's Type 2 cassette, it's not Chrome cassette. And it's again very dusty, it's like dirty, I would have to like clean my hands after all this. Uh, they, by the way, the cassette after I picked them up, they stay in a quarantine for, for some time, so yeah, I don't have to really sanitize them. Okay, so type 2, the Fuji DR2 is a decent cassette, uh, not as good as I would say the um, bus over there. Um, whatever Redshift is, I have no idea, and uh, Redshift, I can actually erase it because it's a pencil. And uh, yeah, Redshift, Redshift, I have no idea, I'm not Redshift person. Keep it in this pile over here. Next one is... Oh, this is a nice one. This is Maxell XL2S. That's a nice cassette. That's a nice... this? Yes, that's original. And this is some not original. Alright, so XL2S. Not mangled. Really hard to tell. I'm not gonna rotate it to the very beginning. But this is decent cassette. And it has recording of REM Green. I'm not sure if this is correct. Radio, Free Europe, Regional, blah, blah, blah. yeah, uh, Excel, why is it so dusty inside, inside, the cassettes are dusty inside, so this is good cassette pending, that the, all those Maxells, they have to be verified, because some of them can um, degrade over time, so next one is Sony uh, UX90, Billy Bragg, Billy Bragg is recorded right here, so Sony, it's type 2, uh, uh, cassette of, from Sony, uh, looking really nice actually, R nice condition of the case, uh, this case is nice condition as well, oh, has original stickers, it's amazing, uh, actually I never recorded to, on Sony UX90, uh, so have no idea how good in comparison to others they are, but given the relatively good condition of this Sony, I'm gonna put it into keepers. 
Next one, another Sony HF. This is essentially a like a change. So this cassette, it's Sony HF90. I think this one is old. This one is older than this one, as much as, I, as far as I can tell. Uh, yeah. Again, I'm not sure. The case is in good condition. Stickers are not applied. It says done plus breath. Whatever it's supposed to mean. No stickers. Very simple uh, J card. Uh, type 1 goes here. Oh, another one. Sony UX90 blind, blind leading the naked. Naked? Naked? Alright, I'm not sure what it is. Not familiar with that band. Uh, again, J card. No sticker though. Nice. Uh, good condition. UX90. UXC is would be nicer, but that's a keeper. Again, pending the a condition getting mellow what is this it's probably some u2 it says actually some mixtape tdk tdk d90 is the most ubiquitous cassette i guess um not sure was the year good actually condition not messed up good here goes here okay another xl2 100 Tape is okay, case very dusty, again, I'm not sure why. They ha looks like it has original sticker, which are a little bit mangled, which is good, but it's good to have original stickers. So, case is much more mangled, but cassette is, looks like was listened again a lot, because it has those scratches over here, where the springs are in the cassette tape, there, there, there are springs here. Highly likely they, okay, this goes in the middle pile over here. Nice, oh my god, there's still a lot of tapes here. Uh, it's unknown tape. This tape is unknown. Yeah, no comments. Um, it sits in this Excel2S case, so if I'm gonna find Excel2S without a uh, case, I'm gonna be using it, so I put it, like, I don't know, somewhere else. And this one is clearly tape 1, so it's gonna go here, and this weird pile over here. Mmm, nice one. It's a newer model, I think, of Chrome Extra. Looks really nice. Again, super dusty. Cannot explain why. Okay, the case is nice. The uh, cassette case is nice too. Has original stickers. Amazing. Again, maybe I'm not sure. Maybe this is older. Yeah, I'm not expert here, unfortunately. It's clearly made in Germany, obviously. Chrome Extra 2. Yeah, it doesn't say. May oh, sorry, I was wrong. It's made in France. Nice. That's something interesting. Made in France. Let me see, just for giggles, where are those made? Mm, doesn't say anything. Or I don't see it. No. Well, weird. Okay. But all bus, I do have like um, some love to bus cassettes because one of my first cassettes ever when I was a kid was actually bus and I really like it a lot. So it's just nostalgia, nostalgia, I guess. Another Sony UX90 Uni Axial. This looks like a modern version of UX90 from over here. It's really cool to have different versions of the same tape. Again, tape is in good condition. Um, this one's supposed to be made in Japan. Nice J card, no sticker. Um, yeah, but whatever. Bye bye, baby. Slip away. This is if. Lullaby, Mustang Sally, what is the com commitments, the cure, a cure, I know cure. Uh, this is, the Sony's are keepers, they are good. Oh, another one, the very popular Beat Beat Up. Um, this is 3 ksa 90 it's a good cassette, providing it's not degraded, but looks, um, looks like it was mangled, because over here already I see some um, mangled parts. Case is a bit beat up. Uh, yeah, what do we have? New kind of music we have Mustang Sally, Big Time, Mr. Pitiful, Hurt. I have no idea what is this. It goes in this pile because of the mangliness. Fuji FR, FR2. 
actually never seen this I don't have anything like that in my collection so very interesting what are that that because this is type 2 um, type 2 cassette but uh, yeah never had chance to play with those and uh, no J car sorry no stickers but J card is all written over um, yeah, I would like to put this one aside for experiments. This is Fuji FR2. Not sure how this compares to the R2. So now we have interesting combination. We have XL2 Maxal in the SA100 case. So this case is very smoky and nice. I like this case. Um, SL, um, XL2 Maxal is good cassette. Uh, it's a relatively good case. Uh, again, doesn't doesn't really look used a lot. More uh, uh, well, line. I don't know what are those, and I can't read this script. But the case is in really good nick. Does it have a original? No, it looks like it was ripped here already. Goes in this pile. Okay, XL2S. I always like those XL2S because they are supposed to be really good cassette and when you touch them they even feel solid. Like they are, if you compare it with this guy, you see that? Yeah, there is a difference. So this is nice, nice cassette. I'm not sure how good it is. Again, you see some lines on the tape here. You see, like you see some lines. So maybe that's gonna affect some recording, but the... Um, yeah, I'm not sure how good this cassette looks like. No stickers, some information. But usually XL2S is okay, but some people say they may degrade with time. In this pile. Alright, another UX90. Uh, looks like I'm gonna have a lot of UX90s. I'm gonna put them... My case is really beat up, the, this one. So uh, it's probably gonna throw this away and replace for something. Next one, super tape, realistic. That's the bias FE. It's normal tape. I never actually had chance to play with super tape. 1998. So this is radio recording from 1998. This is very good because this gives us a time reference, and we're gonna understand first of all how this recording pan out after like. How, how it's how it's plays after like many many years and also um, how this cassette records after that many years so this is really good cassette gonna put into pile for experiments okay Maxell XL2 good condition uh, well well wait I didn't see the yeah tape is actually really good condition tape and the J card has a sticker nice goes mix this says XL2S 100. Lots of Type 2 cassettes. I love this. So again, the cassette is way better in, than the case. The condition of the tape is relatively good. Nice. What the heck is this? Max LUR in some generic piece of paper thing. Yeah, this is the like this is yeah like everyone knows this. So. Type 1 pile. Oh yeah, this one interesting. So Memorex DBS. So this is obviously Type 1 cassette. And 46. Never actually seen 46. And this one seems to be... The, disc, the, the cassette is Polar Express. Because it's in good, good nick. And some people actually call those cassettes the clown cassettes. Because they look funny. There is no stickers. Uh, because they already applied, I guess. Yeah, I do have some memory ex specifically this kind of because the the, the this specific uh, setup was changed with time. So uh, I think this um, specific graphics indicates particular year. I just don't remember which one. And it looks like it was was belonging to J Ashb. Well, not anymore. Another Fuji FR, very dusty though. Uh, tape at least on this side is in good condition so I would have to probably um, rewind all those cassettes and see if the beginning and ends are okay Lava Hey, Shen of the Corner yeah well there's some music here curious how good is this I, I, I put this in this pile in this type 2 pile here 
Oh, <laughs> well, I'm not gonna call it junk set, but it's like uh, the most. Oh, yeah, look at this, a secret message, no? Nice. It's um, case in good in good condition. Yeah, well, we can keep it, I guess. So we have very beat up XL 2S. And yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how are they doing those XL 2S's? Because cases are really, really, really beat up. So I guess those cassettes has to be put aside and actually tested. I tested, probably test the recording and things like that to see what's the recording levels and things like that. So yeah, they're gonna go in the middle pile over here. Uh, what do we have? U another UX 90. Again, super dusty inside. Not sure how even dust made in here. There's no sticker. So yeah, yeah. Right, another XL 2S. Super dusty. Yeah. It's, it's kind of interesting that this XL 2S is there like melted or something? It has some like. I think it's by design. I think it's by design. It has like a, like um, you see that? It sort of bulges over here. Interesting. Case is very Nirvana. Nice and in utero unplugged. Yeah, that's keeper. <laughs> Definitely. What the heck is this? Scotch BX. Never seen this cassette before in my life. Busted case. Tape is in okay shape. Eh, probably just generic set, nothing special, right? Type one. Put it here. Another one. Excel 2S 100 high resolution, high resonance. I mean, very dusty. Mm, not sure how it is, but it's in Fuji DR2 case. Yeah. Excel 2S goes here. Another one, we have a Sony HF90 single. What the heck are those? Sputnik Tinder box. I don't even know what are those. It's actually in, in decent shape, the cassette itself. Type 1, pretty um, widespread. Here's the actually Fuji DR2. I like this cassette, actually produces uh, gen generally good results. Mm, yeah. But obviously nothing to rave about. Right, another one. Okay, Chrome Extra 2. That's a good Chrome cassette. And in relatively good shape, a bit scratched up, tape is in good condition. Not sure how, how about beginning and end. It's sort of a bit newer. Chrome Extra 2, probably still have stickers, yes, has all stickers intact, nice. Oh yeah, it even provides some technical information right here, mm -hmm. nice. What's belly something, I don't know what it is, good case, good cassette, definitely keeper. Maxell Excel um, 2S kind of a little bit older. I'm not sure if this is the right case for it, but I like this cassette. It's very solid looking tape cassette. Sorry, and the tape pro. I'm uh, not gonna rotate it. What's in here? Sw uh, swim up, swim up, or something like that. The Queen is dead. Panic, Ash, whatever it is. Yeah. And uh, looks like another side is empty, so side B is empty, so it's good. So one side was used, definitely keeper. Oh my god, this, this pile is this pile over here with a good type 2 cassettes is growing. SA290. Type 2. Relatively good position case, no stickers I understand because it was used and things like that. Nice case, smoky, like it. It's good cassette too. Yeah, it's in, as I mentioned, it's good condition tape. Nice, keeper. UX, another U, uh, Sony UX90, uh, tons of these guys, 
tape is not mangled, case is again dusty. Sticker. What is it here? Oh, this is some classic music. Pressed country dance, trumpet, trumpet minuet, I allegro, hornpipe. Interesting. I like classic music. Let's I'm gonna listen to it. Max oh my god, this is beat up like hell. I'm not sure how about the tape tape actually itself, but cassette is super dusty. Ten thousand what? Maria's Tracy whatever whatever J card is in good shape so yeah it looks like this set was like shuffled all over the place so yeah cases in this batch are pretty beat up so what do we have another scotch BX is sort of more interesting than that this scotch right this scotch BX they are clearly different years not sure which one is what um, yeah this is sort of looking nicer. Yeah. Wait. What the heck are these? It's type 1. Why do you have these holes in here? Doesn't have it. Like, hmm. What's that supposed to mean? That's mm. that's confusing. I thought this is um, not what the chrome cassette. There is no auto selection. Uh, wait, wait, wait. So those notches over here are supposed to mean some uh, supposed to indicate the type of the cassette, but um, yeah, I don't have. Um, sorry, I don't remember actually what. Like, you see, those cassettes, they don't have anything. The other, maybe it's newer, has to be like a newer uh, tape to, in order to have this. But that's that's interesting. Let me double check what are those mean. I'm going to insert some, some info here. But it's clearly, clearly this type 1 cassette, right? And clearly that's, that's it, unless this is not what it is. Something else. Whatever, it looks like there's some um, audio recording here, sorry, a radio recording here. It looks like scotch because of the of the um, texturization, so texturization is similar and yeah. So that's, that's has to, I put it to, to the side, figure out what the heck is going on here. Okay, another Maxell XL2X, very bit of case, probably a Riam. Probably those cassettes, those XL2 assets, they were in the car because they are cases are really beat up. But tapes, the, the cassette tapes themselves are not as much. And again, this is good cassette, so it's a keeper. But again, have to check if this is a little bit different. Sony HF60 tape is okay. I'm not sure what again what year it is. Unfortunately, I didn't write anything on this. Japan and US ma USA made component and same assembled in Mexico stickers are here That's good. That looks like they're quite a bit dirty of dust Sorry for that What the heck is that supposed to mean? Yeah, you can find some weird and wonderful things in all those cassettes. So someone put the kind of stamp sticker of Queen Elizabeth. Happy birthday! Yeah, I'm not sure what birthday what was that, because some people don't bother to put year of the recording, which is quite important, well, for me at least. But yeah, it's TDKD, sorry, Beastie Boys, yeah, no, this is bad. Looks like there is a discoloration or rust. In that uh, metal metal retainer over there, so yeah, this maybe the junk cassette. I'm gonna put it to the side. Uh, okay, so we have very bit up Chrome Extra, bus Chrome Extra. Yeah, yeah, it's really like it's well used, but tape seems to be in good condition actually. Yeah, nothing major here. The case is really bit up. Probably was used in a car. 
put it in uh, well put it in the middle pile right here TDK ID 90 James Joyce whatever it is uh, yeah the really beat up case the metal thing is okay very dusty and I'm just uh, mind boggling how they are so dusty Excel to S nice looking Excel to S Kate Bush the whole story Kate Bush I don't even know who is this I heard about it pretty much that's it uh, stickers oh my god whole bunch of stickers whatever the, uh, those are nice that's yeah I'm pretty happy to see those cassettes in a really good nick but <laughs> the cases are really mangled Excel 2x goes here TDK SA90 this is newer design of TDK is probably only beginning of 90s a really good condition of the tape not sure about again beginning and thing j card is in okay condition case is in okay condition or in good condition compare compared to other ones Let me always wanted to check yeah this is really solid case in comparison to the excels i just tried to bend earlier uh, excel to s another very dusty oh this is very creased so that's probably goner look at this uh, yeah so mm, not sure how and where it was used middle pile of questionable cassettes excel 2s100 Blech. what the heck some glue this is look nice solid It's totally like yeah, we see those notches over here. It's interesting. Why that BX or whatever it is? So yeah, it look, I start. It's enough. I'm gonna make another pile here, I guess. To start running around, running out of space in that in this pile. This pile is questionable cassettes. This is type one cassette. This is another pile of good. Okay, TDK SE. This is S8. Sorry, this is older design. A little bit creased uh, tape little bit not much uh, yeah that's a big difference between and again not sure if you can judge by that but like solid like how solid is the case is indication how for me at least indication how good is this okay this is in questionable pile all okay, right this is all mangled in case John Joyce whoever it is Sony HF 90 yeah that's just some Oh, that's mangled, so it's definitely goner. Yeah, put it in this pile over here of goners. Memorex Mrxi. What? Whoa! Never see this before. Mrx M R X I S. Cool. Type one though. Interesting. Memorex here. Uh, outstanding low frequency maximum output level all, all cassette decks very low distortion precision engineer cassette mechanism made in republic of korea mm. cool type one tape is, seems to be okay but again we don't know how well it aged experimenting pile excel 2100 this is the one when i said the case is so so yeah look at this it's like it's actually almost falling apart yeah it's yeah I don't know why maybe it was just beat up um, again case is very well used but tape is okay compilation of a sword lush compilation probably some mix tape this pile Excel to us again tr uh, thick is a brick thick as a brick okay creased quite a bit um, the tape is creased so uh, yeah looks like it's quite used up middle pile which is start running out of space as well excel to older design i think these are better than the, the one i just show you again very well used i'm not sure how good is the tape if it's mangled or not but case is really shit so yeah middle pile another ux90 looks like we have tons of those well as well as uh, 
Yeah, so this is the, the, the cheapest Type 2 of Sony, or the lowest end, but has nice, almost empty J card. Is it? Yeah, pencil, like, there is no recording here though, uh, but pencil written, so yeah, this is, this is good. Yeah, I can't judge uh, by the tape, but judging by the condition of the case, is, uh, is, should be good. What the heck is that? Turkish Itora blank. Wow. Yeah, some generic stuff in some generic case. I don't know. Uh, whatever. I don't care. Another Excel 2S, which is indicates that person actually had quite a big pile of Excel 2S's. Some stickers, some even printed out on dot matrix printer. Nice music stuff. Tape is in good condition. Cassette is very dusty, so maybe need good cleanup. And that's it. Case is shit. Good pile. Maxell XL 2S again. What do you have? Bauhaus 79 83. Unknown year of recording. Nice, solid case, not busted, good. Not sure how it's again gonna record. Oh, this is interesting. Whoa, look at this case. <coughs> Whoa, sorry, a lot of dust. All right, oh, ho, ho, look at this one. It's very interesting, never seen this before, but it's hell of a used up. Not sure how it's gonna work. Tape is in rough condition right here. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna keep this tape no matter what, not gonna like ditch it or, or, or whatever. Uh, well, I'm not planning to ditch them, I just probably gave them to, some, give them to someone. Even it has some stickers. J card is empty, it's funny, almost empty. So then on HD8, this is very interesting tape because this is type 2 with metal particles in it. So yeah, it's controversial, I would say. So this is really good to have, that's rare to find, I think, I think. Never seen this before, never hold it in my hands, only read about it. That's cool. That's cool to have. Uh, experimental pile. If it's if it's shot, I'm just gonna keep it for the history. UDXL2, love and rockets. In a case like it's the wrong case, of course, but it's case. Well, this kind of looking case is relatively good condition comparison to other ones. So yeah, that's that's supposed to be nice tapes. Um, again, I'm not sure how they. Um, have, how, how good quality, if anything remain. Okay, the decay is a 90, case is okay, case, okay condition, a little bit dusty inside, everything is fine here, and it's super rattly. Yeah, so probably when you're gonna rewind that, it's gonna, <laughs> gonna be doing that. So I'm sure yeah, they say nothing about like nice case, right? Yeah, so. But it's relatively okay tape. Oh, let's continue. Um, UD, UDS2, uh, Maxell UDS2, busted case. Oh, nice stickers and things like that. So yeah, case is busted, but tape itself is OCD or DCD. It's it's almost the beginning of the tape, right? And it's not busted or mangled, so that's maybe good. Not sure how whatever this UD uh, UDS to maybe it's similar to XL 2S. Maybe it's similar, so we're gonna keep it in a good pile. So then we have very old TDK D60. Not sure how uh, how old is this one, but 
yeah some kind of weird anthem even some kind of weird stuff so yeah it, it just type one I'm gonna put it here nothing to write home about UDX2 this is funky looking cassette not sure again never recorded anything on these guys so I'm not sure how good are they or bad but this is what we have so it's just um, it's a bit creased case is okay nah Right, uh, yeah, I'm just UDX2. Uh, not sure what the heck is that. It's some kind of recording on some kind of generic tape. Probably was probably was a overwritten because someone used the tape to um, record something. It says Hobbit Three. Pro look like a type 1 tape, so yeah. I'm getting to the bottom of the pile. Fuji DR2. Uh, that's a decent, decent one. Uh, yeah, case is okay, a little bit scratched up, but looking much better. Ricochet TD. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's here. Another XL2S, so we're gonna have mother load of those XL2S's. Uh, yeah, they're a bit dirty, they a bit kind of cases all mangled, so they were used used a lot. So I'm not sure what kind of quality of that gonna be. Uh, yeah, it's gonna keep it for now. Here is UX90, which was used a lot, highly likely, because case is really rough shape. The tape itself, the cassette uh, cassette case is actually it's a ram or door or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's probably kind of middle pile here because yeah, it's really roughing, rough looking. Vascrom Extra Two. This is nice tape. I like it. So. Uh, a good looking case is good so this is kind of funny probably those were recorded uh, after those maxels right because those maxels are really rough and this one look much nicer looking so this definitely a keeper this um boss tapes another dr2 so this is again as as, as much uh, as well as this bus this is much newer like as, first of all the slim upside down design uh, and uh, uh, this one is definitely newer than actually the past tapes, uh, the the older one, the original ones, which I ev ev everyone likes. So this one is newer design. This one newer. I'm not sure what years are those. Probably like mid 90s or something. I'm not gonna tell for sure. I'm, just, I'm not an expert in this uh, field, but okay. So here we are. You are 60. Type 1 tape is in okay condition. Yeah, it's just yeah, even some stickers. Almost like, I mean, maybe it feels like it's just empty or something. It says nothing. Like, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Maybe it's empty. Definitely keeper. Okay, older XL2. Epitaxial XL2. Yeah, it's, it's so so condition of the tape. Cases, of course, used up a lot. Echo and the Benny, Benny something. Echo and the Benny Man. Benny Man? Yeah, some interesting. What the heck? What kind of music is this? Has some stickers. Cases, okay condition. Yeah, this thing is R pulled. So I don't know. It's medium pile right here. Another buff, it's nice. So it's good to have a bunch of these. It's uh, case is broken. The, the cassette case, good condition. Tape is in good condition. The only thing is a question, as I mentioned, is any other uh, tape that I uh, actually, I know it has some, uh, that I don't know how good is the, the tape itself. It might deteriorate over time, it might not. I don't know. <laughs> and another one, so yeah. I don't even know greatest hits of some some sort. Again, tape is in good condition. Uh, case is so so condition. Looks like this one was was much more popular than the previous one. Looking good. Okay, Memorex. 
Ah, okay, this is not Memorex, it's just a case from the Memorex, but UDS2, nice looking UDS2, tape is okay. Again, it's the beginning of the cassette, so it's, it's, it's good to see that the beginning of the cassette is actually okay, not somewhere in the middle. So the wrong case, but the good cassette, so definitely keep her. Again, another UX90, you have pile of those. Mm, yeah, I don't know. U2, Joshua Tree, that's I know. Mm -hmm. 93, okay, this one's... Uh, ni ah, 93, 93, whatever it means, 93. 93, B, 93, 8, 93. Yeah. Oh, it's noise reduction type B. That's what it is. Yeah. And 93, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll keep it. Okay, D90 newer. I think this is newer design when this thing is really, really slim here. So. Yeah, just TDK D90, nothing to, for experiments, for experiments. Okay, another UX90, tape is actually in good condition, case is kind of super dusty and looks like scratched a lot, so it was used, and it was used in the deck, not in the car, because if it was used in the car, scratches would be this way, but scratches are this way, so it was used in the deck while being inserted so these are pulled off we can deal with that it's just okay uh, excel to s another of excel to s tape is kind of weird looking so probably yeah yeah i don't know i don't know nothing i can tell about it shaman I don't know what that really means. Yeah, I'm curious what kind of music is this. It's like rock, metal, heavy metal, hip hop, rap. I have no idea. Okay, put it in here. TDK D60. Old school TDK. Yeah, that's really kind of sad looking. The, 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 the stickers, I mean, they. No, nah, no. Nah. But yeah, type 1 for experiments or whatever. What the heck is this? XL low noise. C40 high energy. 20 minutes per side. Yeah, that's some kind of junk, I guess. But the case is in good condition. So yeah, I may use this case for something else. Yeah, let's go. Case go aside here. Uh, what is this? TDK Nikon Edukake Nikon Niko Niko Something Greek looks like it's a Greek kind of ty typing. Greek says Greek. Okay, that's interesting. I like some Greek music can be cool. So uh, yeah, TDK D looks like it's a newer design of TDK D. Like it's, it's uh, yeah. Yes. Generic cassette, nothing to write home about. Okay, this this pile. So SA, TDK SA, a bit kind of how I do it. Uh, pr print quality here is actually weird. Never seen this kind of shit. Like it's all kind of fuzzy. Tape is okay. Case is meh, all used up. But looks like it has stickers. No. goes middle pile oh single original motion picture soundtrack Alice in Chain interesting what motion picture what mm, picture was actually used a lot science soundtrack S science singles singles out oh, there so this is type 2 of Sony CD it 74. Never never actually recorded anything on those. Again, the slim case. Yeah, not upside down design, or a regular side down design. That's uh, for experiments. Hmm. Arrhythmic greatest hits on one of the newer designs XL2s. 
uh, looks this was a bit better case must tell you so this is the the, the man's man chair chairman 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 kind of design so it's a newer excel 2s and case is actually in much better uh, condition so we're gonna keep it not sure was the audio quality there gonna be there the farms particles whatever it is happy mondays tape is looks like a little bit creased there are some lines in there yeah but in the case shape but case is really bad so it just goes i have to double check that oh i'm getting to the bottom of the, of the box finally the lion and the cobra <laughs> yeah i don't know again there's some creases on the tape uh, I do not want what I never got, whatever. Yeah, just another Excel 2S. Mm, not sure. Uh, okay, this pile. Excel 2S older design. It's a bit dirty actually. Yeah, I have to clearly have to wash my hands after all this. This one, I don't know, meh. It's really dirty actually, the, the, the cassette itself. So I don't care about tape condition. I gonna get rid of this one. Uh, Memorex DBS Funky Type One cassette, the clown cassette. I think this this one called and it's Peep Show and Once Upon a Time. It's I don't know what it is. It's in okay condition for experiments. Absolutely yes. Oh wow, it's hard to reach now. TDK, oh, what the heck is this? It's F90 Type 2. It's probably some cheap. Yeah. Ugh. Probably SF90 is a cheap TDK stuff. Um, cheaper cheaper than SA90? I don't know. I have to. Uh, super fidelity, high resolution, high precision anti resonance cassette mechanism SF. So we have to double check that. Yeah, so I don't, don't know. Um, nothing really visible busted here, so yeah, is, and I think it comes with stickers of any kind. No, it does! Nice! Comes with stickers. Um, experiments. This goes to experiments pile. Okay, what is this? It's something self made. Joy Division closes, Joy Division unknown. Joy Division, this is like homemade release? Wow. Um, yeah. Excel 2S, good, good. I think it is a good one. Nice, good, good condition tape. Uh, interesting. Case is meh. Okay, but I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, different version of Sony XF, HF I mean, um, Jane's Addiction, Jane's Addiction, yeah, th definitely, it's, I think it's like metal stuff, Jane's Addiction, yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm not very really familiar with all this, okay, that's gonna keep it, they are in good condition, oh my god, really hard to reach. Reservoir dogs. That's clearly some sort of indie stuff. Oh, that's busted one. Look at this. It's a broken case. Nice tape. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure if nice tape is nice, but the case is broken. So yeah, I have to do some either surgery or just don't bother in the middle pile over here. Yeah, I'm gonna take two. Again, in another SF90. A little bit creased, tape is creased, so yeah. Roy Harper once, whoever is Roy Harper, gonna keep it. Another UX90, so we have tons of those, as well as XL2S's. Again, tape is creased a bit, not too much, but creased a bit, as you see, yeah. Eh. Uh, yeah, it's okay. Okay, we have another SF, very, very dirty, very dusty, I mean, not sure uh, how good is the cassette tape inside, though, not rusted or anything, so it's probably okay. 
Yeah, so we're gonna take take a look at this SF. That's interesting. And last two, last two. So what do we have? So last two, we have uh, again XL2S. Ein Stuger Schnutschik. Ein Sturzenoen, whatever. It's something like. I'm gonna listen to all this stuff. I just want to understand what kind of music is this. Tape is in good shape. Nice. Case is dusty as usual. Okay, and this is Keeper for sure. And um, XL260. Oh, beginning of the tape. It's very indica indicative. In good shape actually. Uh, small mirrors to eternity. Shamal. Wow, that's. What the heck are those bands? Some Xox, uh, is it from this one? No, I don't think. Yeah, it's actually original. That that one is not. Cool, that's amazing. So we've done, and case is in okay shape. So we went through every tape in the box. So let's count how many in total I have. All right, guys. So we got 99 cassettes, uh, 99 cassettes, and th th those are just uh, leftover leftover cases uh, from wrong cassettes. So in total, we have 99 cassettes. So it's I think it's pretty good haul. So what do you think? And also, I'm really curious from uh, to know um, what people think about that used cassettes it doesn't make sense to collect such cassettes and try to put some recordings on them or it doesn't matter because they are so old so used up they are essentially a junk so i would like to do an experiment and to see how many actually good cassettes come out out of this pile of 99 used cassettes of mixed type some of them are completely junky i can see right away and i'm also curious some of those tapes uh, okay, I put them back in already, but for example, I'm really no, not this one. Oh, I'm curious how good is this one, but I'm curious how good are those Basf tapes because I I like Basf brand a lot, so I'm I'm like to really do experiments. And if they are, I'm not 100% sure sure if they are, if this specific this one is pure chrome or this is chrome doped or something or cobalt doped type two. I do not know uh, because the only one I know for sure is chrome. Pure chrome is that. Somewhere down below there was a Chrome Maxima. That one is pure Chrome. This stuff, I do not know. I have to look it up. But yeah, I want to see if these cassettes are good. So I'm going to do some sort of uh, experiments, like listen, maybe record to uh, some music to some of them or to the better, better, uh, better conditioned tapes out of all those. I'm not going to do on every single one. It's like it's too much time and it's not worth it. But on the nice looking ones and without busted, uh, like if you tape is good, if the case is nice, uh, I would gonna clearly do some uh, tests on them. And they, if they are, you know, have good frequency response, noise, and uh, you know, um, the recording is generally good, yeah, I'm gonna keep them, keep them for experiments and maybe for some recordings. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up. Please write uh, your comments and thoughts about what you think about used, using used cassettes. And uh, please like and subscribe to support the channel if you like my content. And see you next time. Ciao!